Welcome to the Geico ESPN High School Football Showcase and welcome to Alabama. We are south of Birmingham tonight at Thompson High School. It's hard to believe that this is a public school. It's a state power, it's a national power. That's why we're here tonight. And it's a great matchup too. Two head coaches that are good friends and somebody is still gonna be undefeated by the end of the night. That's why a big crowd is expected with nationally ranked Thompson, number 17 in the country. We're glad you're with us with Craig Hobart, Connor Onion. Now, Alabama, this state that we're in tonight, it's of course known for its very rich college football history. Auburn, Alabama, not too far from where we are tonight. But some of the homegrown talent that goes to those schools is right here on display in front of your eyes. Partner, we all know the song, Sweet Home Alabama. Well, it is home to some of elite talent at the high school level. We all know about the historic programs like Alabama and Auburn. But this is a state that programs across the nation are aware of. You would expect to see those four states at the top be amongst the list of the best producers of ESPN 300 talent. But Alabama there at fifth. Do not, this, you know, you should really always recognize how great the state is. Expecting a Craig Hopper rendition of Sweet Home Alabama as the night rolls on. Stay tuned for that. Not only can he sling it, but he is very musically inclined. Giving a new definition to the word versatile. So here we go from Alabaster, Alabama, Thompson High School, and the Warriors on their home turf will touch it first. And out across the 20 yard line for Caleb Harris. And that'll bring his prospects in their respective class. And Harris has a reputation as a big hitter. Mbakwe through the middle and intercepted. Those defensive backs also have a third weapon, Peyton Lewis. Did a great job reading that play, taking it out before it had a chance to get started. On a third down and long for Seaborn. Loft sideline for Oliver, and he drops it down the chute for a first down. Seven consecutive titles to go with those five state championships, including four in the last four years for the Warriors football team. On goal to go, they carry him into the end zone with A.J. Green. First score of the night comes from the Thompson running back. On fourth down, Seaborn does snap it and guns it to the sideline. And that's caught by Oliver. His favorite target in this first quarter extends the drive. Coming up at halftime, here's Mike Dujan. Off a of play fake, Seaborn across the middle, touchdown! Colvin Landrew running a slant for six. 17 yards for the Thompson touchdown. Took a hit to the helmet. Mbakwe on third down, underneath Osley across midfield with a first down, slips out of a tackle and he's trucked shy at the 25 yard line. So he's trying to go beast mode tonight on national TV. Not a big buster yet, but a couple of tough earned yards for Chambers. And here's Mbakwe breaking into the second level with a first down and goal. Battle of undefeateds, what could be a game changing play with Mbakwe riding the backs of his line into the end zone. Fourth down and goal, they call their five stars number for six. For Trent Seaborn, and it threw a touchdown to Colbin Landrew, his last time on the field, and the pocket collapses, and down he goes with Carlos Ivy hitting the quarterback Seaborn. One point was a Georgia commit. Did a really nice job late in the process last year of flipping some needed players to help fill out that 2023 class. Here's Craver off of the sweep, and he's got a first down. Well, you mentioned the flips. He Probably, you know, list him in the rankings as an athlete, but you see what he can do. He could certainly get her done. Uh, there he goes out to the edge and pushed out by Lewis. Already with a rushing touchdown in this game. Looking for a lead before halftime. Mbakwe is flushed and he's out in the perimeter. This is what he does best. A race to the pylon and he's angled out shy of a touchdown. But he almost closed it before Cheatham had the angle on him and pushed him out. Yeah, that was not a designed run, but there wasn't anything there for him. He worked to the field side, had so much green, and again, a player who's almost hit 22 miles per hour in tracking his speed, almost able to get it in there, but. Has one timeout. We hit the 10 second mark, and that pile moving with Barber pushing. 
And he's in for a touchdown. Second time tonight for Mbakwe. Touchdown before the half. And what was a terrific game last year. Thompson won it by three. Is a one-point game at half in Alabama this year. Jalen Mbakwe, five-star athlete with two touchdowns for the Cougars to lead by one at the break. Alabama. We promised you earlier a hidden talent for one of the quarterbacks tonight. Listen to this from Trent Seaborn. Throw it like his name is Tungavailoa, and he can, I don't know, play it like he's Louis Armstrong. The linebacker off the field. I'm gonna fake the screen. Seaborn down the sideline. Big play on third down. Colby Hurd is gone. Clay Chalkville is able to kind of spring one. Is that maybe when they get Bakwe a little bit more on the edge and use that speed against a kind of a beat up defense, but he goes deep here. Yeah, with seven in the box, and that is intercepted. Anquan Beggins playing in man coverage with the interception, but a marker is down near the line of scrimmage. He said they're really good friends. And that's helped out a lot. A shot play for Landrew, climbs the ladder, breaks free with a flag down. The basketball player winning the jump ball, beating Jamarcus Jones. The final five seconds of the quarter. Mbakwe on third down, buzzes it in there. Mario Craver on the move. And the electric playmaker across midfield. The, one of the fastest athletes in the country. Hands off, and is back Osley to the edge with a stiff arm. Hits the sideline, and near the goal line or near the red zone, he's marked out of bounds. 72, the Oregon commit there at right tackle. All those bodies in there again. They've scored on this twice, and Mbakwe reaches through for a third touchdown. Trying to keep their undefeated season going. This would be a nationally ranked win for them. Playing from behind. On to the edge on the sweep. If you're going to, though, you got to get him out on the edge. Give him the run pass option. Needs two yards. They triple digits through the air and on the ground. And he has his fourth touchdown. Play Chalkville leading a nationally ranked opponent on the road. Has a quartet of touchdowns. Now going for two to make it a three-point game. Looking for a throwback to his offensive lineman. Chugging to the end zone for two. The Oregon commit to Quan McCroy with a play to remember forever. Looking like the fridge on the edge. Well, it all starts with the electric Mbakwe doing a nice job just following his block, finding the scene, punching it in, and then I don't know. They're going to bring it back. You're going to watch number 72. He's going to drop back. Bakwe does a nice job of selling it, waits for it to clear. And then, you ever been on a highway, Connor, and you see them moving a house down the road? <laughs> That's what that was like. It just took forever. It didn't seem like he'd get there. And Green out of the backfield. It's empty for Seaborn on third down. Pressure coming. Seaborn on the move. Throwing in. Intercepted if he was in bounds. And he was. Roderick Ivy kept the foot in. And a takeaway for Clay Chuckville. Roderick Ivy had the interception. And the cousins for Clay Chuckville have him three minutes away from a nationally ranked win. And Mbakwe disappears out of the pile. And his foot on the gas inside the 20 yard line. For these guys. On third down, Mbakwe out the back door. Mbakwe for a fifth time. 
a potential game sealer for the five star. Where you put me? Well, one of the best in the country, number four overall. Is Seaborn for Hearn? A juggling catch, and Hearn is off to the races. Hearn cuts back, looking for his second big score of the night, and Colby Hearn is in. This game is not over yet. To make this a three-point game, and it is a three-point game. Colby Hearn struck from 64 yards earlier. He goes from 75 yards out here. Yeah. Hearn, the third receiver, working his way in. Gets a little bit of space. Does a nice job of cutting inside. That slows down Ibakwe a little bit. Instead of maybe diving for the legs, just trying to grab the jersey. And enough for Hearn to get in. You're going to see him outstanding job. Reaching, extending for that pass. Not a clean catch, but he maintains it. There you see Ibakwe in pursuit. Not able to slow him down. And Hearn gets it in then get a score with 33 seconds left here's McGuire and a big high hop and it's recovered by Thompson Anquan Fagans leaping to recover it and Thompson is a field goal away from tying it outstanding kick by McGuire so from the 45-yard line, Trent Seaborn with 33 seconds left. Over the middle, it's Colby Hearn who just got the touchdown with a first down. Clock stops at the 30-yard line as the chains get set. A couple seconds did run off. And now the chains are set. And we're ready to play. Clock moves. Seaborn looking to lead the comeback. Out the back door, he escapes and gets out of bounds and had to get there. No timeouts. A 43-yard attempt for John McGuire. McGuire's kick is no good! Wide to the left! So Jalen Mbakwe, 29 rushes, 168 yards, and five rushing touchdowns. Also threw for 100 yards tonight. And the five-star athlete committed to Alabama put on a huge show tonight. And Jalen Mbakwe joins us right now. Uh, there's a lot to unpack with this one, Jalen. First of all, that kick at the end. What was your vantage point on the one that clinched it for you guys? Man. I just said I had to go get it, but I was too tired. So, <laughs> luckily, we got a six foot eight tackler that could put his hands up and make a miss. I'm sure you've been asked this a bunch, but a ton of Crimson Tide fans watching tonight, I'm sure. Uh, why Alabama? What stood out the most, and why you picked them? Uh, first and foremost, it was just like Coach Saban. You know, the work he do with DBs, and uh, just me being a DB and learning from Coach Saban. That's a bit of one. And then number two, uh, Coach Roach and Coach T-Rod just been on me heavy. You know, just stand on me and, you know, preaching to me where, where the Alabama is like. And then number three, just the players, uh, how they interact with me and things like that to keep me uh, to, at Alabama. Well, a big night offensively, but we saw a big smile on your face there. When you got in that corner towards the end of the game, you had that pass break up at Landrieu. It got to feel natural just to get back out there on an island at corner. Oh, yeah, it's natural. I mean, they've been telling me all week that you might be a little rusty at cornerback. I'm like, nah, it is natural. I just got to uh, stay level-headed and play ball, you know. Jalen, thanks for the time. Congrats on the win. Thank you, thank you. That is Jalen Mbakwe, our Geico player of the game. He ran the ball 29 times. Hard for him to pick a favorite, and he had five touchdowns. And you got to look at the touchdown numbers, five of them. But what's interesting is for one of the most dynamic athletes in the entire 2024 class, a lot of those yards and a lot of those scores just like that came with some hard work, tough running where he had to drive those legs. And then as the game went on and they wore down that Thompson defense, he was able to punch him out, create some big runs. Jalen Mbakwe, the man, leading the crowd after Clay Chalkville wins it. For producer Andy Bach, director Dennis Lanius, technical director Anthony Giassi, Connor Onion, Craig Hubbard saying good night 
from Alabaster, an absolute thriller.